guys thanks again for joining us we're doing another car review today we're in marks uh, Renault Megane sports is it trophy Tro 275, trophy 275 trophy spec it's not Japanese we usually do a lot of Japanese on this we haven't done a, a car that's non-jap since we did Simon's uh, Astro VXR so this is a nice change uh, any of you guys into your French this is something for you previously before this car you had a EP3 type R didn't you which was mainly um, it was it were track spec, weren't it? Track so, spec with full interior, basically. With full interior. So you slide it as a daily, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. But a lot of modifications you did, like sprint racing and things with it. Um, and you've gone completely from one end of the spectrum to other, really, with this, haven't you? So you bit. Yeah. So you've gone from naturally aspirated to turbocharged. You've gone from a Japanese car to French. So what would you, from going from that to this, what would you say, how do you feel about the change? Do you prefer it, is it? What do you think? I prefer it at my age. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Easier to drive on a daily Easier basis. Easier to drive, quieter. Yeah, bring turbos, obviously. You just you don't have to touch pedal to get away. Yeah. You don't have to think about if you want it to change again. No. Four gears to get going. saying following this car here the stance of this car is really wide anyway it's such a wide set car so the grip and everything is is really good it is really really good and you've got Michelin Pilot Sports on this as well haven't you yeah so one of the best tyres you can get can't really complain on the inside it's really nice you've got all this like carbon effects here and there there is like a carbon effect on the doors but it's like carbon effect cushioning which I weren't expecting when I touched it, and you're not a big fan of it, are you really? I won't say it's tacky, but it's very close to being... Yeah, it's very garish. Yeah, it's not... <laughs> if, if I was specking an interior, you that, would, chose, that yeah. wouldn't have been one of the options that I'd chose. No, um, no. And it's actually on seats as well. Is it? Oh, you're yeah, yeah. I never noticed that, seats. yeah. Along with loads of suede, which I like the suede. Suede and red stitching, that's quite nice. It looks good, but it's pain in the ass to look at. Yeah, I bet it is. Which you've got, well, you've got suede on your steering wheel, which I bet gets warm pretty easily. Yeah, you have to clean it like once every four weeks. Yeah. <laughs> but all in all, it is a really nice place to be, I have to say. I think it's at the back end of a modern car before they start getting all the expensive. Technical and everything. Display, isn't it? Yeah. Everything. Which you've got head up display on this as well. Whereas all the new ones kind of looks a lot more modern. Yeah. Very technical, very gadgety. But it has everything that you need in a car. It would have been a trophy. Yeah. You, you're not buying it if you're an executive. No, you're buying it to get a thrash, aren't you? <laughs> Which this does. When you're giving it something this, it's, um, it, I could keep up, I'm not going to lie. Um, especially at low end, because it has, it, I'd say it does a decent torque, to say it's because it is turbocharged, so you are getting to a lower end, where that's something that I don't have in mind, which 
you can feel it. You can feel it when you put your foot down, when you sew so you set off. One of the good things that you've got. Go on. We've got RS monitor. Oh, right, right, right. So Some of them. Got. Oh my god. So, oh wow, it seems is, like. You've got your GTR style G meter, which. Yeah. I don't really see point in that one. No, no. Unless you're trying to corner as hard as you uh, can. And then you get to the bit where you can customise what drafts you want. Oh, right, okay. That's your torque, and it tells you your traction slip of each wheel. Right, oh god. That's just your torque and your torque power. And your power. Steering angle, it tells you how, obviously how much angle you've got on your steering wheel. Yeah. Mm. You can do a data log, and then oh, right, okay. you can upload that to Renault Sports website. Yeah. It does an overlay of a track oh, right. with all your braking. Oh, that's and right, all that cool. Sort of stuff. So it's very tra track focused. Yeah, definitely. Um, Stopwatch if you want to do your, lap, your own lap times. Lap times, wow. That just tells you last time you changed your tyres. Oh, oh right, okay. Track that gives you tra track advice. Yeah. And then you've got your intake temperatures, turbo pressure. So wow. It's like having a boost gauge. Yeah, basically. Oil, oil temperature, and cooling. Oh and my god. And then it's got this which just shows you like six different readings. Yeah. It's literally everything you need in uh, in one menu, in one in one package, isn't it? Yeah. Yes, it's got plenty of plenty of gadgetry, not just everyday stuff. It's a lot of track oriented stuff, like you said, uh, which is really cool. Um, how much how much power do they make from factory? Do you know? Um, it's supposed to be 275 horsepower, but that's right. PS. I don't really know what that stands for, but. Okay. It's about 271. Yeah. When you've got it in RS mode. RS mode. Um, horsepower, BHP. It's about 271. Right. Okay, okay. Once you put it in RS mode, it increases the roll response. Yes. So one of the things you can do on, on this, mm. the RS mode, mm. is you can change the car setup. Okay. So you can change your pedal map. So you can have a different mode. Oh, what for like responsiveness? Yeah. God. The annoying thing is you can't turn that off. What can you not? No. So it'll always beep at you to tell you to change up. Right, right. You can't turn that off. And is that all the time? Yeah. Or is that just in RS mode? No, not all the time. All the time. <laughs> That's something that changes with RS mode as well, it changes your so whole... that's in normal. That's in normal? That's in normal. Wow. <laughs> I'll show you guys a bit of, well you might have seen it at the beginning of the video, but I'll insert a clip of what the RS mode sounds like through the exhaust system from the outside when we keep revving it. I need a map for something for that. 
I think I think the white suits it as well. I think you've got good with colour. A lot of people like to say go with yellow. I wanted yellow. Right. But I'm trying to find one of these in any colour mm. is hard enough as it is. Really? So originally I only wanted I was only gonna get a 250 cup. Right. And then as I looked into it, obviously you have different spec mm. models, so you've got like the um, sat some have sat nav, yeah. some don't. Mm. Somehow the old version of the RS monitor, which is kind of looks like a calculator. Oh right, um, that's what mine looks like. <laughs> so to find one in the spec that I wanted, because I wanted the RS monitor, I wanted yeah. sat nav, and I wanted these seats. Yeah, which are gorgeous which, seats. Finding a car that someone's previously bought and spec all that up, yeah, it's quite hard. From what I've read, mm. they only made, only sold. 92 trophies in the UK. Right, so they're quite rare then as well. So they came in four colours. Um, you got grey, yeah. yellow, which yellow were a two and a half grand option. Wow. Um, and then black and white. Yeah, which I've seen black ones before. The grey ones are the rarest. Is it? Liquid yellows are the next one. Mm. And the thing that I can't find is whether black or white. to get basically this spec and everything you wanted with it as a used car. Yeah. So, well the trophy comes with everything as standard so that's yeah, why I don't yeah. buy a trophy. Yeah. I don't know what else to say. Other than I love it. <laughs> Going from Civic to this, mm. it's nice to be in on long journeys. Mm. But I'd, I'd say if you're just going out for a little Sunday frat down back roads. Yeah. You can stop the wing aren't you? Then still do it, but I won't say it's quite as fun as it. No, no. It's harder to drive. Um, wow. Is it? you got to take into account the torque and everything. Yeah, yeah. So I have had back end now on a drive. Yes. Um, if you can find the video or just use the photo of what happened last. Was it the last one or the first? It was the first one, second, weren't it? No, oh, second, second one. Second track there. Second the track there. Um, I think you must have thought you were still in Civic. <laughs> you had your Civic head on yeah. and went round the corner. <laughs> and uh, yeah, yeah it, it tail up it. Yes, a very steep learning curve. They are quite well, quite well known for back ends to be uh, liable. Yes. When yeah. the tyres are cold. And you learn your lesson very quickly. So if you're wanting a modern hot hatch, that's nice to live with, but still, can still pretty much kick your ass. That's track spec. I can't, I can't suggest anything else really, other than something even more modern. But I think for this age, it's very. Um, I think it's. I think it's a car that's looked over. I think it's. Um, you don't think about it, but when you're in one, I'm very surprised. I'm very uh, pleasantly surprised, put it that way. I was impressed, yeah. having taken it on a track, considering it's standard, mm. how well it gripped. Yeah, yeah. Um, right, we're going to end the video here, guys. Thank you so much for watching again. I hope you enjoyed having something a little bit different on the channel. I've definitely enjoyed it, although I do feel a bit travel sick now. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's really good, really good car. Um, Please like and subscribe if you do want to see any more videos on the channel, especially if you want to see more reviews and things like this. Comment below if you do enjoy the reviews and click that little bell button so that it notifies you when I upload another video as well for you to see. So until next time guys, like I always say, enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.